Hello there. Whoa, you see? That is the result of acid rain. A simple reaction between water, nitrogen dioxide, and sulfur dioxide. Yet there's such a huge impact on our environment. You see, our world is based on the delicate balance of pH, a scale used to measure the acidity of everyday things, such as chemical solutions. Optimal reactions only occur in the narrow range of pH. Without the knowledge of acids and bases, our world would explode! Come the chemistry kid. Kyle, come the chemistry kid. Come, 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 come. Kyle, come the chemistry kid. Chemistry rules. Kyle, come the chemistry kid. Acids are the basis of our life. Acids are molecules that give up hydrogen ions, and bases are molecules that give up hydroxide ions. Orange juice, for example, is an acid, which is why it tastes sour. And soap is an example of a base, which is why it's slippery and bitter. However, under the definition of bronze Lowry, acids are the molecules that give off hydrogen ions, while bases are the ones that receive them. There's two kinds of acids and bases, strong and weak. Strong acid or base dissociate completely, while weak acid or base set up an equilibrium. But what if we need to find out the concentration of the acidic or basic solution? Hi, today we are doing a titration. A titration is a simple technique used to determine the concentration of an acid or basic solution. Today we are using sodium hydroxide to determine an unknown concentration of hydrochloric acid. These are the following equipment we need. Sand and clamp, barrette, a flask, squeeze bottle with distilled water, a pipette, and the pump. These are the chemicals we're using today. One molar of sodium hydroxide, unknown concentration of hydrochloric acid, and the indicator is phenophane. Before you start the experiment, you rinse the barrette with the base. Then you rinse the pipette with your accent. Then you add the base into the barrette. Then you record the initial volume of sodium hydroxide. After that, you measure 10 milliliters of the acid and put it in the flask. After that, you add a few drops of phenolphthalein into the flask. Then, drop by drop, you're gonna add in the sodium hydroxide until it turns pink. Remember, gently swirl the glass. When it turns like pink, we reach the end point. Now determine the concentration of the accent. We need to do an emergency titration. Oh, but doctor, we don't have any more phenolphthalein. What are we gonna do? Hmm. I know. Use your finger. Finger?
Acids and bases are very important. They are part of our lives every day. We use them to clean, prevent fluctuations in pH, and run our batteries. Concentrated acids and bases are very corrosive. Here you can see 18.0 molar sulfuric acid eating away at paper. Acids can also be used to dehydrate other compounds. We use the same 18.0 molar sulfuric acid to dehydrate sugar. The acid removes water from the sugar molecules. The resulting products are steam, sulfur oxide, and carbon. The steam and sulfur oxide giving off pushes the carbon upwards, creating a column-shaped mass. This reaction is also highly exothermic, a reaction giving off an abundance of heat and energy. For decades, humans have tried to decipher the creation of the ocean. What we have failed to understand is that the answer lies in the alphabet. A long time ago, there were two ancient rivals. A sea die and a seekus. They couldn't coexist without water being drawn. Still water on my computer. Teach her a lesson. But she's freezing. She's just going through a phase. <laughs> <laughs> 